Hey everyone, Aninda here and today I'll be showing you how to get awesome battery backup on your Google Nexus 5. Yes, that's correct. As you all know that Google Nexus 5 battery life is not that good and uh, so that's why I, uh, I was uh, searching for any way to get a good battery life out of my Nexus 5 and but finally I found it. And uh, let me just show you some of uh, the screenshots. See over here, I know that uh, this is this standby is not that great. It's only 17 hours, but on this 17 hours, I did the voice calling of one hour 19 minutes, and screen timeout was uh, six hours 29 minutes. Yes, six hours 29 minutes was screen was on out of 17 hours 15 minutes it's really awesome to see 6 hours 30 minutes of screen on time on Google Nexus 5 and uh, I'll be showing you how to get that so first off you need to be rooted I have a specific video on how to root your phone and uh, just follow that video next you need to download a custom kernel yes uh, the kernel I was uh, I'm using right now is uh, Elemental X Okay, let me just show you. I'll upload these files on, and you can get this file on the video description. So, this is the kernel. Okay, and it's called Elemental X. And, uh, yes, yeah, so what we need to do is to download that kernel. Next, you need to be rooted and you have uh, CWM or TWRP as your recovery. Then we'll just go to recovery mode. Uh, recovery. I suppose that you are using a stock kernel and uh, you are rooted. Okay. And you have CWM or TWRP as your recovery. And you just downloaded the kernel. So next, uh, just follow this video to get the great battery life. Okay, so here I am going to the TWRP recovery. Next, I will uh, select install. I will select this uh, this Elemental X Nexus 5 uh, zip. And uh, here it says like, uh, to flash the zip, swipe to confirm flash. Okay, I will just do a swipe. And uh, just wait, it's loading the aroma installer so here we are uh, with on the aroma installer it says like next to confirm it's uh, here we need to accept next and uh, it says like do not flash this over any other custom kernels and uh, I suppose you're using stock so just click OK if you're using stock then no issue you can flash this okay and uh, here we get some options okay here we get some options like uh, select each course separately or just keep this as it is on this page just select just click on next and here we can see at what uh, at what megahertz we can s means we can use our phone uh, starting with here is a down clock up to 1.5 gigahertz and here it is uh, around 3 gigahertz mark so I'll select the lowest frequency 1.4 and select on next and this is the main part guys it's called auto under vaulting so by default the Nexus 5 uses around 1000 1000 or so as uh, the volt so if you select 700 or 675 then what happens is like your CPU will get less will uh, take less amount of power from your battery and thus saving the battery life all right so if you use stock then it will uh, use like thousand or so if you use like 700 you will save 300 and so but guys keep in mind it's under volting so use it very carefully as it says like if any cause instability then um, boot into recovery and use the higher higher clock okay right now I'm using 700 I'm very happy with it so we'll select 700 and we'll select on next and over here just keep it as default 
just keep it at default next and uh, here we can select whether we need this sweep this next disable disable next and uh, here we have some other options like other features you can select this USB fast charging fat external and any other option which you guys like you can do it next and once we hit install it will install okay I've already installed this uh, kernel I'm not gonna do it once again so about installation reboot so next I'm gonna show you what are the other things you can do to get a better battery life once you did all this once I suppose that your uh, you've selected that 1.498 megahertz and uh, 700 under volt all right next just reboot your phone guys I'll uh, also do one thing I will uh, give the original elemental X forum link from where you can download it as uh, the developer updates the kernel day by day all right next what are we going to do is uh, to save the battery life is uh, just you can do one thing that's uh, you can dis disable this Google now feature if you disable this Google now feature most of the Google services will be turned off all right and that's saving the battery life as you can see I'm pretty far away from my Wi-Fi network it's not catching up right now next what you can do is like uh, you can go to this people next and uh, on this on this uh, account you can uh, just untick this auto sync okay oh it's connected great so I'll just disable this Google now okay next what you can do is uh, you can go to this settings applications no not applications location you can turn off this location and uh, go to Google just sync should be off every you should just sync should be off everything should be off and uh, GPS and NFC all these things should be off see over here NFC is off GPS if you are not using 3G then you can uh, use 2G as well okay I, I, I'm not using 2G network I use Wi-Fi that's why I'm using 2G thus saving your battery life and guys believe me if you do these tricks and that undervolting and that that thing which I uh, showed you this one 1.5 gigahertz see over here and I'm using elemental X kernel okay see 1.5 gigahertz believe me your you will see lots lots and lots of better battery life on your Google Nexus 5 but keep in mind guys after doing this after doing this setup all these things which I have just showed you you need to uh, charge your phone to 100% full charge and after that uh, you will see some means you'll see some uh, noticeable changes on your battery life okay so that's it for this video guys just follow this trick I hope you like it and I just hope that it's uh, I just hope it will help you in getting a better battery life out of your Google Nexus 5 so that's it for this video guys and one last thing I forgot to mention is that uh, use Greenify this is a beautiful application use Greenify to um, to hibernate all your running background running application see over here light effect is light flow is running what you can do is uh, you can just uh, hibernate all this this application okay so just follow these tricks and uh, that's it for this video guys if you like this video then please click on like button and thanks for watching this is on in though take care